The Crenshaw District, where a peaceful gathering in Lamert Park to protest the Zimmerman verdict, is overshadowed when a group of mostly younger people starts marching, but soon runs wild in the streets of South L.A. A tactical alert is in effect as officers move in, declare an unlawful assembly, and start making arrests. Now, let's go to some tape we shot from Air 7 HD tonight. There was a lot of activity. This started off as a relatively small crowd, maybe 40, 50 people. Before long, 100 people, maybe more, and they were crowding the streets. And at one point, we even saw people setting off fireworks in the middle of Crenshaw Boulevard. Somebody could have been hurt here this afternoon or earlier this evening. There was also an attack. One person was sitting on a bus bench. We saw this guy just get violently attacked out of nowhere. He appeared to be injured. He was walked away by somebody. Uh, no reason for that attack, but we saw him get punched real hard. The Walmart up at the Crenshaw Plaza, we saw a large number of people in that large crowd go into the Walmart. And moments later, LAPD officers, they swarmed that Walmart. We're not sure if those people came back out immediately. Not sure if there's any arrests there either. We saw people hitting cop cars in the streets, police cars. We saw people hitting other cars as well kicking things, throwing car things at cars, and then we watched one portion of the crowd kicking at a door to a storefront uh, back to the street here, a number of people in the street hitting those cars. They saw a number of people here tearing down an iron fence as well in front of a building. It looked like a motel complex, all that activity on Crenshaw Boulevard. And once again, back to our live shot, Crenshaw Boulevard, much quieter tonight. There's the command post just off of Crenshaw, right by Vernon, just below Lambert Park, off to our left. Take a look at Crenshaw Boulevard, which looks terrific right now, very quiet. All the protesters, as far as I can see from the helicopter, they're are gone. Reporting live from Air 7 HD, I'm Bill Thomas, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Bill, thank you very much. A news crew from KCBS KCAL was attacked tonight while covering the story. Their news van was parked just about a half block north of Lamert Park. Two ambulances were called to the scene to treat the injuries. That news crew was injured. We don't know the extent of their injuries. If we get any new de details on the condition of that news crew, we will bring them to you. Okay.